Associate Director Varan, right? Available, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you just have two minutes. No, one minute. One minute. One minute. Okay, sir. So, so, in this webinar, I am Dr. Okay. Dave Vendelman, Assistant Professor in Commerce with Tamil Nadu Dr. Ambedkar Law University. Tamil Nadu Dr. Ambedkar Law University has been conducting various academic related activities during the pandemic situation. We did so even before the COVID-19. After COVID-19, we doubled our award efforts in conducting many more academic related activities under the able administration of our Vice Chancellor, Dr. N. S. Sandosh Masar. As there is a famous saying, teaching cannot be carried out effectively without research. To be a teacher, we have We have arranged this webinar on the art of writing a successful research proposal for funding. I hope this program will serve some purpose to the faculty members as well as research scholars for getting their project funded by the competent agencies. With this small introduction, I wish to call upon Professor Dr. Arida Devi, Madam. Director in charge, research, publication, and academic affairs to deliver welcome address. Madam. Good afternoon, everyone. Hope I am audible. Yes, madam. Good afternoon, sir. At the outset, let me welcome you all for this national level webinar on art of writing a science successful research proposal for funding agencies. When it comes to research, research is actually bringing in new knowledge to the society. And there are empty number of research institutions in this country providing the necessary, uh, I would say, infrastructure or also the monetary uh, arrangements or monetary help to the researchers. So to be successful and to get a research uh, monetary benefit, from the funding agencies, I think it's an art. And it is also, it's a, uh, I would say almost all the assistant professors or associate professors or professors in one stage or the other, we all are, including me, would like to get such proposals or to be successful in getting such funding from the funding authorities. So in that regard, I appreciate the entire team who is organizing this national level webinar on art of writing a successful research proposal for funding agencies. It will be of very help to all of us. Any researcher would be helped or would be benefited out of this very good discussion today. At the outset, let me welcome and thank our honorable vice chancellor, Professor Dr. N. S. Santosh Kumar, in fact, it is he who encourages these academic activities to the fullest extent, I would say. Because when he joined, his first instruction was any academic activity, go ahead, no problem. So he gave a full nod to all the academic activities and that's how we are successfully organizing so many webinars. Today, uh, due to another engagement and he's out of station due to other reasons, he has sent his greetings to all of us for the success of this webinar. Thank you, sir. And on behalf of the university, I thank you wholeheartedly. Next, I would like to welcome our professor, Dr. V. Balaji, sir, registrar in charge of Tamil Nadu, Dr. Ambedkar Law University, who I would say is the backbone behind any activity that is going on in the university in a very, very positive way. He encourages all of us gives us ideas and uh, even at times when we stand with some difficulties it is he who comes to help and uh, take off, take forward any programs or any activity of the university on behalf of all present here i welcome you sir for this webinar he would be delivering the felicitation address shortly i would all uh, it's my uh, i would say it's my privilege and honor to welcome Dr. P. Karthigayan, Associate Professor in Management, Kongu Business School, Kongu Engineering College, E. Road, who would be delivering the, uh, the special lecture today, who is the chiefest of the day, to 
give away uh, to tell about him dr p kartikeyan has 18 years of work experience so far he has completed 13 phds 18 mphils and nearly 100 mba student project he has published 150 research papers 35 in scopus in prestigious national and international journals as well as 30 in isbn edited books and proceedings he is author of 13 books on finance and management he has also attended and presented over 100 papers at national and international seminars, conferences, and symposia. He has delivered over 100 visiting lectures to various colleges, universities, and served as a resource person, chaired sessions for over 75 different national and international conferences, workshops, and faculty development programs. He has organized 18 sponsored programs and received the funding of six research projects from various funding institutes, including UGC, ICSSR, AICTE, NHRC, NCW, MOEF, and AIMS, State Planning Commission, ICWA, and TNSCST. I think the right person to talk about the how to get or how to prepare a proposal from funding agencies. He serves as the editorial boards and reviews for 50 international and national journals. For academic and research purposes, he has traveled to various countries like Thailand, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Singapore, Nepal, and Indonesia. I think we, we, we are all fortunate to hear him on this topic of how to write a good research proposal to get funding from the great, very important funding agencies because he himself is the recipient of so many funding agencies. On behalf of the university and on behalf of the vice chancellor and the registrar of Tamil Nadu, Dr. Ambedkar Law University, I wholeheartedly welcome you, sir, for this. Welcome, welcome sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. And I would also like to welcome our uh, UG director, Dr. B. B. Bhuvaneshwari, PG director, Dr. Kumudharat Nama, and all the head of the departments who would be joining us for this webinar. I also welcome I should not say welcome, but it is their efforts who has brought this webinar into a successful one. Dr. J.M. Vailmurugan, sir, who has arranged this program and brought us a good guest for having a very good academic discussion. And, and I also welcome all the students, faculty, and everyone uh, who has joined us this afternoon. I welcome you all wholeheartedly. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Madam. You are a uh, welcome address. Thank you very much, Madam. And also for your participation too. Uh, let me welcome, uh, request our uh, beloved uh, register, Dr. V. Balaji, sir, to offer felicitation address. Thank you, sir. I'm, a, uh, I'm you. audible, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, uh, so we are here today to witness another uh, wonderful program uh, of our university where we are uh, going to have a national level webinar on art of writing a successful research proposal for funding agencies. So, uh, in fact, uh, I uh, at the outset, I wish the organizers for uh, a successful program which will definitely encourage us a lot and motivates a lot to do this. Uh, I also uh, greet uh, our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Dr. N. Santosh Kumar, sir, as said by Director uh, of Research and Publication, Arjuravi Madam, that the SAR could not be able to join us today, but he has sent his congratulatory message. And uh, he is the one who inspires us, motivated us, and uh, he joins with us uh, in enthusiastically in every program, and uh, he stands behind our uh, efforts and uh, guides us in uh, so many ways. So, in fact, really, it's a blessing for us to have uh, Sarah as our vice chancellor, and uh, I also. Uh, greet and welcome Dr. P. Kartikeyan, sir, Associate Professor in Management, Hong Business School, 
Combo Engineering College, Hero, from Hero. And uh, Mr. Vail Murugan, who is the coordinator of this program. And I also welcome uh, Dr. Boneshwari, Director of UG Courses. Dr. Kumudratna, PG Course. Controller of Examination, Dr. R. Srinivasan. And uh, IQSC Coordinator, Madam uh, Nadiwari Devadi and all other faculty members and the heads of the departments. Uh, so here, uh, I just uh, wanted to say a few things about uh, the, the program that the art of writing, even though uh, Dr. Karthik Ainzar is there, uh, with my limited knowledge, I can just uh, say a few words. Uh, about this, uh, uh, the theme of the program. Now, uh, uh, it is a time to motivate us and uh, to say that we will be having or getting a good research uh, funding from the agencies for doing this research. Now, this, uh, this criteria satisfies two things. One is the capacity and capability of the, the faculty members, as well as the, the, the capacity of the institution to do so. I don't, I don't mean that the, the capacity in the sense that it only touches upon the, uh, the quality and other aspects, but sometimes there are circumstances where we have to work out certain things in order to get the project from the funding agencies. And another aspect where we can also see, as I told you, that it is a, uh, it is a both uh, no win win situation for the individual as well as for the institution. But it's very difficult to get the funding from the agencies. And there comes a particular point where we have been struck in a particular place that even though we have done so many research projects and sending the proposals, it could not be able to be materialized. Or you have to cross several stages. Now, let me tell you, my friends, I have, or all my colleagues know, how far we have uh, struggled in getting a proposal to be cleared by the funding agencies. A lot of things or factors should be, uh, should be, should cooperate and coordinate together and to have that success in that. And the most basic element of all those things is to have a motivation and also to go about the proposal in a very practical manner. So here I say that there are few things for that what you have to take care. That simply setting the proposal could not be able to get you the things. And uh, there are certain other cases where in which the people might send the two or three proposals and after getting dejected over rejection, they will keep quiet and they will not further move forward. That's a very, very, very unfortunate situation. Please take it from me. That is, uh, you have to, you have to see that or introspect in seeing that what, what is the problem and of the earlier things or proposal and you have to rectify it and you have to again and again, you have to present it to various organizations, funding agencies in order to get your proposal to be accepted. That is a very, very basic or common thing what I'm trying to say. And this part, of course, uh, where they are able to tell you about the art of, that's what uh, Madam also said, Arindadevi Madam rightly pointed out that, of course, the title itself is that the art of writing the proposal. So that makes a lot of sense to go about this program. And uh, to my knowledge, I, I can tell you that what I experienced is 
the brevity of the proposal is the most important element and number two simplicity in the sense don't make it too complex and it has to be read by others and it has to be understand or understood by others so you have to go to simple no complexities needed or required and the third aspect is practicality practicality has so many qualities in it and for this research proposals other things what i found out was it is the certain things which should be practically you no know, applicable and uh, socially relevant and uh, socially oriented things are welcome by the funding agency where they see the contribution a lot what what it could be and number 2 is depending upon the depending upon the project that what you are going to apply that makes a lot of sense and the blessing in this case that we are going we are on the way in, in the process of the icssr has already a, had a call for it the things are being moved on so it's the right time that uh, that veer burgan has proposed this program and uh, it's a, it's it's now going to happen so in that way it's a very really welcome one and very fortunate one so in that case you have to find out that what program is suits you say for example minor you have to go for minor project major you have to go for major project your minor project proposal cannot fit into the major and the major proposal cannot fit into the minor that's the most evaluative and practical aspect of it so you have to think twice in doing or see that what is the what is the amount that has to be there and uh, with relevant to the proportionality of the amount that you have to see the practicality of the research and you have to put it in that way and number two as i said the outcome of the research or the project should be very very relevant to the society so that that is a some point where the funding agency would uh, look upon and uh, uh, moreover uh, uh, as i said the simplicity and uh, the budget estimate is also makes some uh, no uh, practical aspects now they will see that whether you are asking for asking uh, in the sense which is uh, practically amount to doing those uh, uh, research so my dear friends my dear colleagues so kindly understand it is not a simple thing to apply for a funding agencies to get the project first you have to be very sure that you are motivated for that and never bog down for any kind of rejections that happens very frequently but you should not bog down to that you have to try again and again and you have to see that where you are going wrong and you have to rectify yourself so this is what i just wanted to tell you and also to uh, greet all others uh, to see that you no know, this this is a stage where uh, the faculty members of course at any point of time but there are certain limitation for certain projects that too also matters so within that we have to make uh, a progress in that so with this i wish everyone of this program uh, a, a success and uh, i hope that uh, that participants have will uh, have a very fruitful discussions with the participants in knowing the art of producing the proposal for the research project from the funding agencies uh, that will definitely help you a lot to get the benefit out of it okay with that i extend my thanks to uh, one and all for giving me this wonderful opportunity thank you thanks a lot thank you very much sir for your presentation address as well as very elaborate information that should be kept in our mind while preparing for a research proposal for funding
So now I request our resource person to make your presentation. Before that, let me request all the participants to note down your doubts clarification. You can seek your clarification at the end of the session. After the resource person completed his presentation, you, you can feel free to ask any clarification. So in the middle, let us allow the resource person to complete his presentation. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, sir. Is my voice is audible? Okay. Okay, sir. sir how, uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, how long? Maybe uh, two hours is okay, sir. Two hours. How long we can able to continue our presentation? Sir? Half hours. Let us complete. One and a half hours. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, so good afternoon. I take this opportunity to thank uh, the Tamil Nadu um, Dr. Ambedkar Law University. Uh, I full heartedly thank uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor Professor uh, Sandos Kumar sir and uh, Gone Sari ma'am, the director in charge of UG courses, Tamil Nadu Dr. Law Ambedkar University. And uh, uh, Professor Balaji sir has uh, rightly pointed out uh, so many uh, aspects in terms of writing a research proposal. I also thank him for his uh, felicitation address and also thank uh, all the faculty members and uh, the Dr. Vel Murugan sir for arranging this particular uh, webinar. Uh, right, so today's session is mainly focused on how we are going to write a research proposal. Uh, while we are getting into that uh, topic, writing a research proposal, uh, Yes, biologists are also rightly pointed out it is an art or science. But according to me, I will tell you it is a both art and science. And we have two different types of writing a research proposal. One is for writing a research proposal for uh, doing a research project. Second one is obtaining a, a funding for conducting a seminar, conferences, FTP, workshop, and other aspects. Today we have a lot of funding agencies. In fact, uh, before five years back, uh, we have uh, only one funding agency we all came to know that is UGC University Grant Commission. So maybe after 12 five-year plans, uh, it ended on 2017. So UGC has stopped uh, to really, uh, granting on the minor and major research projects. But uh, we have a lot of other funding agencies, including ministries, uh, government organizations, non-governmental organizations, foreign organizations, voluntary organizations, state governments, so many research development funding organizations like CSIR and all, they are providing a lot of funding for especially the uh, researchers who can also act as academician as well as they are also act as a researcher. Uh, yes, somebody has telling about the research how the research will come. So research is an art. So research needs a problem. Whenever you have some problems, automatically the research will start. Automatically the research will start. So that is a thing mainly we are going to uh, discuss today. I hope my screen is visible to you all. I hope my screen is visible to you all. Is my screen is visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, thank you, thank you. Make it full screen, sir. Right. Sir? Make it full screen, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Now it's okay? Ah, yes, so sir. Out of, of writing a research proposal for funding agencies, and why research? We all know what is the purpose of research. So we are all writing a research paper, and we want a good research publication in terms of good quality. And in terms of writing a research proposal, why research? There are two aspects. Uh, one is to become or uh, to build a career, to make your CV more effective and knowledgeable one. And second one is to earn your money. To earn your money. Apart from your salary, you also receive some money for doing your research project, maybe in terms of honorarium or in terms of uh, you will get some traveling allowances and so many other aspects. Say you can also utilize your money for the purpose of 
uh, equipment purchase and so uh, contingency expenses building a laboratory in your organization uh, setting up a lab say, getting some funding for uh, machinery and so many aspects and we are which research provides the basis for all government policies in our economic system so mainly we, why we are doing a research project because the government organization want to need some suggestion from all the researcher policy making suggestions research helps social scientists to study the some social relationship and very very important for a teacher says like you and me research means it is a careerism and for an industrialist the research means a development of a new product and for a philosophers the research means it is an outlet for new ideas and insights and for a library less a literary men and women research is a development of new style and knowledgeable and creative work and we all know about today we have lot of funding opportunities are available for fellowship postdoctoral fellowship senior fellowship and so many other form of fellowships and for the students research it is a point where we can say it is a visa card to enter into the employment market and a professionals research may be it is a source of livelihood and these are all the different aspects we all know the research begins with the problem the problem need not to be a earth shaking any problem say i can say that uh, socio economic study of women sanitary workers i have uh, did a one project especially to know about the socio economic study or lifestyle of the women sanitary workers working in the different municipalities of tamil nadu it is my research problem it is not like you are going to study under the sun or you are not going to study a big topic any topic say there are so many uh, problems are uh, around us so many problem you can around us you can study us and apart from that the funding agencies are also find out some prioritized areas where the researcher want to look into that last two year we are all facing lot of problem in terms of corona virus so if any funding agency even ics is a recent call for research proposal under ics or research program scheme they have announced one priority areas is a covid okay in general good research should address an important question it should have more knowledge it may be advanced knowledge and find its own application very important researcher need your own and sustainable sustainable interest and very important if your research project is sanctioned you should complete it time and my dear friends whenever i am going to address in forum related to any research topic i can uh, definitely mention this word as a civ cara point out in you can be in book i simply uh, change the world winners to researchers so researchers don't do different things but do things different but do things different and writing a research proposal in the present era is an art and acceptance of the proposal by a funding agency is a really a science as your registrar is also find out so writing a research proposal in the present era is an art but acceptance of the proposal by a funding agency is a really science so we have different funding organization in the meantime we have a lot of academic institutions offering academic courses along with the research courses and so many people are writing a research proposal from centrally funded universities to self financing institutions but unless otherwise if your proposal is not up to the level definitely they can reject it they can reject it so rejection is very high rejection is very high in terms of funding organization because the government is investing lot and lot of money for providing and getting a good research from the researcher okay and for that the scrutiny process is very high and uh, there are so many proposal would be rejected but but there is like you and me as a good researcher we won't lose our interest in writing a research proposal maybe every year we will write 3 or 4 or 5 or sometimes 10 research proposal 
I can say that one or two research proposal will be put be sanctioned out of 10 or 15. Okay. Why funding? It enables research. It attracts the PhD students. Can build collaborations. Today, in today's scenario, research needs more collaborative works, more interdisciplinary study, more multidisciplinary cases of research. So research need, research need more collaborations, more exposure, more interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary study we require. And it measure the quality, can help in promotion, can add in income through summer salary. That's what I told you. So research will build, the funding research will build you in terms of increasing your CV and also you will get a income through summer salary or it may be Related uh, teaching, and these are all the some funding causes. Causes you want to develop coherent research program. Do not distract from publication. Publication is a different part, and the research project is a different part. Don't mingle with each other and confuse. Continuity of support is required. The effort should not be overwhelming. Better to pass an opportunity than to emperor one with a little chance of success. Be prepared for rejection. Yes, uh, rightly find out by your register. Be prepared for rejection. Always keep in your mind, uh, your mind. We are writing a research proposal, not for, not only for uh, getting a positive side. There are a lot of possibilities you can also get a rejection, but don't lose your interest. Don't lose your interest. There are a lot of funding agencies are available. There are a lot of money is available with the government. Maybe this time, this funding agency may reject your proposal. Maybe next time, the same funding agency will accept the proposal or other funding agency will accept the proposal. So you want to create yourself with a different strategies uh, from own, you can set your own vision. What do you want to be known for after five years from now? And accordingly, you can assess your capabilities and you can assess the market. You can identify the agencies, the programs, funded related research and related to uh, how these funding agencies and funding programs will match your needs. And please create your uh, proposal writing schedule. Uh, try to practice yourself. You can collaborate with other uh, researchers. Write at least two proposals on every four months, or at least two proposals on every four months. Alternatively, you alternative month you want to submit it to any funding agencies. And my dear colleagues, my dear friends, the good research proposal it demonstrates innovation and the significance within the field of the study. So research need more innovative and significance in the particular field of the study. Okay, here we need we need not require a creativity creativity is totally different but we require more innovation and significance of the proposal and so reality if you take a reality of a research proposal so reviewers often do not treat proposals carefully and they frequently look for the big idea how we can find out the big idea maybe from the topic maybe from the problem Maybe from the objectives of the study, maybe from the methodology. And they all always look on to the what is the outcome, what would be the policy implications for a study. Policy implications for the study. So what if you take an outcome, outcome means we have different uh, outcome for society. We need what is the project expected outcome for a community and a policy decision makers. So reviewers are all not always expert. So managers make the final decision and influence the process. So this is an important thing. Uh, it is expected from you all. One is innovation on your proposal, significance of the proposal, responsiveness to the program, care in writing a proposal, capability to accomplish objectives. And very important, what managers want, 
proposals that fulfill programmatic priorities. No duplication of work. Today, any research organization, they have a separate plagiarism software. So my dear friends, while you are submitting the research proposal, your proposal should not have a with any plagiarism content. Very important. Investigators who are good to work with no black marks always deliver to promises. My dear friends, I will tell you, your project proposal is an undertaking that has definite time, definite objectives, well-defined methodology, specific cost and quality and specific outcome. So many project proposals would be rejected because the investigators are asking for a lot of money without preparation on good budget. Okay. Even for uh, doing it or allegation of the research money or preparing the research itself, itself, we need a separate system. We need a separate system, maybe three hours, four hours. So very important, my dear uh, investigator, my, my dear researchers, please concentrate on budget while you are preparing the research project proposal. Don't go for overestimation of the research money. So whatever it is requested, you can request. Maybe the maximum budget may be 15 lakh, but it is not required. You can go the full 15 lakh, maybe 13 lakh, maybe 12 lakh, maybe 12 lakh 50,000. Whatever the money it is required for uh, your project, that alone you can find out. Don't go for overestimate on your budget. This is a one important thing I want to uh, uh, provide to you all. And uh, these are all the two important skills technical skill and management skill. Technical skills and management, managerial skill. These two important skills you require for writing a research proposal. And apart from that, these are all the expectations. For an evaluators for a funding research project, one is I already told up, told out that is rele relevance of your research project. Why do you want to do this research? Is you are a right person to invest the money in terms of providing a funding opportunity to you? Do you have a good knowledge in terms of publication in terms of the current research? If sometimes sometimes if you are a science researcher, your patent is also can be provided with good value addition. Second one is quality. How are you doing the research? Methodology part. Whether you have meet the requirement of the objectives, then whether you have rightly chosen your sampling, whether you have rightly identified the research gap, whether you have identified correct research design, everything is important. Then the uh, evaluators can also look into the feasibility of the research. Can you achieve the goals with your team? Very important. So sometimes the research, sometimes the research will not provide the feasibility. You may choose the research topic without the any aim, without any objective, without any goal, without any need, without any outcome. So definitely. They want to expect the feasibility in terms of whether what is the outcome, how much uh, money it required, and uh, how much time it is required. Time harisa. So we want to prepare the research project proposal in terms of uh, yeah, like a feasibility report. Feasibility report means in terms of time, in terms of money, in terms of the many, many resources. So my dear friends, one important point I want to uh, narrate in this uh, forum. Any proposal submission get rejected or it can be written to the other because mainly there are so many people are not submitted the documents properly. You have not noticed about the attachment document and maybe your format is deviated from the requested format from the funding agencies and very, very important poor presentation. Poor presentation, my dear friends, very, very important. Uh, before send to the proposal to any funding agencies, now it is all online. Now we are all uh, submitting the proposal mostly in the online. If you take a DST, Department of Science and Technology, even ICSSR, all proposal, project proposal, we are submitting through online. Maybe it is 100 words to 150 words on one particular topic. 
So before uh, submitted to the particular agency, please provide the, uh, your project proposal to any nativity speaker or language speak, uh, language speakers for yeah without uh, for correction on uh, grammatical errors or any spelling mistake and so on. My dear colleagues, actually this is a roadmap where how we are writing a research proposal. Uh, it is only on pre empirical stage. It is only on pre empirical stage. So empirical stage can be done after your project would be selected. So what would be the pre empirical stage? It is all about your proposed area of your research. So your problem, your literature, your question, your hypothesis, and expected outcomes. So, <laughs> if your project proposal is selected, then we go, we can go and uh, implement in the empirical stage. Well, so before going to the development of the proposal, I will show you one of the model proposal how I have prepared. Maybe I'll just a second. Just a second. Uh, just a moment, sir. I'm uh, searching for that. I just opened the window. Sir, is my screen is visible to you all? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, sir. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Uh, so I'm not familiar with um, this uh, Cisco platform. Anyway, no problem. Uh, this is a project where I have applied funding from ICS or maybe three, four years back. Socioeconomic status of transgenders evidence from Tamil Nadu state. And uh, this project proposal, this is a scheme name. So now we are all applying through online. But uh, the format uh, I have used normally this is a general format when whenever I am going to apply in offline mode or hard copy uh, to be sent to any funding organization. Uh, I have mentioned that uh, name of the scheme and the funding agencies with logo and who is submitted and uh, my institution, my department name and my institution logo and everything. This is a general format as asked in the ICSSR website itself and uh, followed by the forwarding letter forwarding letter normally this time also icsr is requested from us to upload into the website i will show you that uh, the format everything this is again uh, an excerpt requested from icsr website itself this is a cv of a uh, project director project co-director and coming to the Annex 3 uh, related to the project proposal, uh, first I have mentioned on introduction part about the transgender, and I have given the information with uh, some support, uh, some support or evidence with the form of citations, with the form of citations, right? And uh, in India, uh, how many uh, transgenders are there, what would be the problems, and I have provided with the source also, and I have provided a couple of, uh, of uh, citations which we supported for our studies. Is transgender adults earn less household income according to the papers I have given here. Okay, so in the introduction part, some of the citations are also request, required. And meantime, you can also provide the full references at the end of your research proposal. If it is available, if any any column is available, you want to provide the references. And later on, in the review of literature, both in national perspective and international perspective. Five, six studies related to national status, national perspective, 
and maybe the same amount of study in international perspective who are all studied on the particular topic. You take example, uh, transgender, socioeconomic structures of transgender, even I have collected the data from uh, one Bangladesh uh, nation, from Pakistan, uh, some reviews are available. Again, it is available from other uh, external websites. See, these are all some external sources I have given. Uh, information from the US, what is the uh, found and everything I have given here. And the national status also. Coming to the need for the study, you here you want to provide uh, what is the significance of the research, why the study is required, what would be the research gap based on the research, uh, I mean, based on the review of literature, you can easily identify what would be the research gap. There are so many people who have studied some aspect, but some uh, very lack in terms of socioeconomic study. That is the main reason behind me to choose on the topic of socioeconomic study on uh, the transgender, right? So likewise, uh, you want to uh, provide the information in the need for the study. The research question and research uh, objectives you want to mention. Then hypothesis to be explored. Uh, see, here I have given that uh, what are the socioeconomic status and other key indicators that mediate the relationship between transgenders and respective outcome. And how the social workers and other people are addressed in the issue. And what are the causes and implications of socioeconomic problems of transgenders. So these are all my uh, research objectives. And these research objectives can be supported with the hypothesis. And this is a scope of my study. And coming to the methodology, what is the research design? So where I am going to use mixed type of research, both qualitative and quantitative techniques. And the qualitative is purely based on the interview schedule method where I can observe somebody and I will write the case study or grounded theory approach or focus group interview or any many more methods are available under qualitative research. Coming to the quantitative, again, it is a data collection using the questionnaire method. And uh, area study, you want to rightly mention which area and uh, what would be the uh, universe total population. So according to the one source, it is published in the Times of India newspaper, uh, there were around approximately 22,000 transgenders are living in Tamil Nadu. Uh, this is one of the evidence where I have uh, taken for my study. And this is my sampling frame. Sampling procedure, what type of sampling procedure I'm going to choose. Uh, I am uh, proposed to use and units of observation and sample size. Uh, so this would be uh, uh, affordable sample size for my research according to uh, that is uh, one website that is researchadvices.com. It is online. On this online website, I can able to out if at all my population is 22,000 mark, this would be the probable uh, sample size. There are a lot of methods are available for identify the sample size. Sample size formula is there. Some ready-made sample size software are also available. But I have applied for this website to find out the approximately sample size. And this would be the questionnaire design and uh, time schedule, coding plan, study is it required data sources primary and secondary and how we are going to process the data and very very important my dear friends as i already pointed out in the feasibility report feasibility study year wise plan of work yes you want to provide in the form of con chart uh, receive grant first zero month though it is a 24 month study two years project i have given that uh, work so problem identification and initial study would be done in first two months. Review of literature, we can start from second to fifth month. Initial questionnaire, final questionnaire, data collection, panel discussion, observation for a qualitative purpose. I have already mentioned that this research is purely a mixed type of research, though both quantitative and qualitative aspects we are using. That's what I have allotted some time for this one. Data entry, data analysis, final report, and submission to ICSCR. And these are all the tentative chapter session for your research. If at all, say, maybe it is an empirical stage, empirical stage, but we want to write it in the proposal itself. Tentative chapters, then references, 
and other aspects then these are all other formats as requested from ic this is a very very important my dear friends the budget budget part and detailed estimation of the budget uh, here at the time it was allotted 50 percentage is for research talk and field work and travel is around 37.5 percentage where i have mentioned field work and travel field work for enumerators honorium for respondents uh, dear uh, colleagues very important dear uh, because of this topic is a transgender the transgender will not uh, cope up with us because they whenever they spend some time for responding or questionnaire uh, if you are providing some money maybe it is like 100 100 rupees or maybe 200 rupees it may be definitely helpful for them uh, for uh, living for developing that living or to get a uh, maybe spend for something right so this honorium especially for some topic it is required it is not for uh, include for all the areas though it is a transgender i have mentioned in the proposal itself and boarding charges source materials uh, books journals licensed software and uh, laptop going to uh, laptop laser printer video camera record this everything we are going to purchase for that we have spent some money then contingency expenses which includes postage printing purchase of stationery telephone charges and etc and almost uh, maximum according to the funding agencies uh, five to ten percentage of the money will be allotted to the overhead five to ten percentage of the money will be allotted to the overhead expenses to the institution to the institution because we are uh, accessing the laboratory facilities air conditioner facility electricities and so many facilities for the institution that's what the funding institution directly provides some institutional overheads so this is a general format on uh, the research how the research will be prepared and come to the next uh, one uh, again i just want to share my screen on the entire screen Is my screen is visible, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's, it's getting started, sir. sir yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, actually, I'm sharing the screen on ICSR website recently. Uh, some call for a research proposal. Can you able to see? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, there are two schemes, sir. Actually, in ICSR, uh, they have invited two schemes. One is research program, and another one is a research projects. And apart from that, we have the senior and postdoctoral fellowships, and various are also available. I, again, the last date is uh, maybe 26th of August, I hope so. And this is a website, icssr.org. Uh, this is a research project scheme, research project scheme research project scheme, where you will get the last date and everything guidelines when you click here you will get automatically go guidelines for that uh, you want to create a separate username and password this is a link to apply link to apply and if you go link to apply uh, if you are a first time user if you are a first time user you want to go click for register and you want to register so i have already created a profile using my uh, existing profile i am going inside so this time icssr uh, has developed their own website and managed very effectively uh, these are all the different schemes here in left side you will get a uh, list base and right side you will get on grid basis so these are all the two projects minor and major and the research uh, program that's two, two schemes both are scheme both are scheme research program is also in a uh, project uh, research major and minor are also a yeah, project the difference is the difference is please note out the research program 
is mainly focus on inter institutional and multidisciplinary in nature in research program is also a research project but mainly focus on inter institutional type of projects and multidisciplinary research area and they are inviting research proposal on priority topics topics are also given and the maximum budget is 30 lakh 15 lakh to 30 lakh 15 lakh to 30 lakh again it is a two year period of time this is a research program but uh, when you come to research on minor and major minor research project uh, the time period is six months to one year major research projects the time period is one year to two year maximum 12, 24 months and for a minor research project it is a uh, six months to 12 months and the maximum budget allotted to five minor is five lakh and for the maximum budget allotted to major project is 15 lakh 5 lakh to 15 lakh the time duration is 24 months for a major uh, research project and they have not list out any topic but they have requested the researcher to send on any topic related to interdisciplinary multidisciplinary and purely related to social science research area social science research area but I will tell you, my dear friends, research program, research major and minor, both are research project only. Okay, the format, everything is same, format and everything same. So though I have already created the profile, I just give some information. So once you apply that, I just give the edit applications. You want to upload photo. Here you want to choose major or minor. As I already pointed out, major means to 15 lakh minor means below 5 lakh and this is a broad area of research sociology sociology law international law social linguistic so many areas are given here right and your name address state related to all your personal information all related to personal information okay you need not worry about within five uh, Minutes you can create all important information. Once you create, you just click next button. It is automatically go to next window. They requested us to fill the details on uh, your educational qualification, your research experience, and 10 good research papers. And what is your research project? A outcome already done the project no? already did your some project that project's outcome or participation any other academic institute uh, achievement and your current working uh, affiliation profile and whether your institution is affiliated to central university or state university something and the contact numbers other project coordinators co-directors you are a project correct co uh, project director and you can also appoint project coordinators co-directors sorry co-directors and very important please note out project director and the project co-director all are at any grade assistant professor or associate professor any grade but very important he or she should have phd and only thing is for a project co-director phd is not necessary or it, they will be have some exemption, but he or she have more publication in this account. If she or she have more publication, the PhD can be exempted. That is for only applicable for project co-director. Co-director. This is I am talking about for research project minor and major scheme. So research program scheme, I will come later. So while you get all the important information, you can directly go to next window. Here it is a main uh, theme where about your research proposal. Title, abstract is 300 words. Introduction, major research works review. That is, I told you already, international and national research. Review of literature, not less than 15 to 20. Identification of research gap, objectives, major research question. Most of the things it 
and related to the format that I have already uh, presented to you all. Then proposed research methodology, innovation, what is the proposed research, expected outcomes such as paper in journal and edited book, what the expected outcome you are going to provide, any new data, relevance for a policy makers, relevance for a society. Right? That is very important. I also narrated this one. And uh, these are all the milestones. First quarter, as uh, we at the time when I presented, I told you it is a, like in Gantt chart, I have made it uh, uh, presented. But here in online format, the, though they are asking about in the first three months, what are all your activities you are going to carry out? For the second three months, what are all the activities you are going to carry out? So you want to write the milestone for the project. Then what is the total budget, total duration, etc. And research staff, how many research staff you are going to appoint, research associate, research assistant, field investigator, field work and all. That I will tell you what is the total amount of budget allotted and everything I will tell you in the my PPT. And the research justification, why the research staff is required, why field work, why equipment is required. Then you want to attach your signature. This one is forwarding letter, forwarding letter from the institution. And you want to attach the CV of both the project director and co-project directors. And if you are belongs to a CST category or disability, you want to attach that competent, uh, I mean, you want to attach that particular certificate. Then final submit. So once you submit, the ICSR will evaluate your proposal. And if it necessary, and they will request from us to submit a hard copy. Right? This is the general thing you want to note out. And the second important thing, say, same, you, you go for dashboard, the research program. Everything is same. The research proposal, format, everything is same. The only thing is that here, they are requested from us related to the different area of study. Say COVID pandemic situation. In the area, you can take a survey. I can take uh, doing a, do, you can do a research, migration, food and nutrition study, poverty, gender, inequality, and many science and technology, environment, security issues, special India's international relations. So many issues are available. Broad research discipline as given by ICSR. Under this particular area, you want to carry out the research. And very, very important, my dear colleagues, for applying this research program, a project director must be or as an associate professor rank. At least associate professor or professor rank. This is very important. Co-project director, they are not given anything. But both the project and co-project director should have a PhD. Again, if co-project director, if you are having high quality, uh, high publications, you will be exempted from the PhD. But project director should have the associate professor and PhD. Very important. And remaining format, everything is same. Remaining everything is same. Okay, same information. Here also same information, the all other information, all are same. So this is about uh, ICSSR, recent uh, research for proposal scheme. Uh, that's what I just want to tell you, my dear uh, colleagues, very important uh, because uh, we may not have much time. I have also more presentation. And uh, see, uh, just a second, I will show you uh, one important thing, see, yeah, research program. Uh, this is a. Uh, I hope my screen is visible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is the main thing. Uh, I just prepared the PhD and everything. Uh, I mean, the PPT format. I can share it to you later at point of time. Uh, and these are all the some guidelines inter institutional or interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary in nature. Okay. This is the research in the institution or interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary nature. And these are all some eligibility conditions, project director, PhD, 
uh, and uh, associate professor grade, right? Regular employee and associate professor grade. This is for research program scheme. And you can apply two project proposal at time, but only one can be uh, selected by ICSSR at the time of evaluation. Okay. And uh, the hard copies, if they require hard copies, you want to send. Uh, if uh, at this stage you can you need not submit any documents, but uh, once scrutinize scrutinize the document, uh, they will uh, request us to uh, submit the hard copy. If any information you have received from ICSR, you want to immediately reply back within ten days to submit the hard copy. Okay, within the ten days you want to submit the hard copy. And you can also prepare the proposal in both in English or Hindi language. Okay. And uh, you will be called after uh, the process verification is over, scrutiny process is over, you will be called for interface meeting, maybe in person or maybe because of the COVID and other pandemic situation. We also have in a platform through internet, you can make a presentation. And the ICSR committee will uh, decide about the budget of your research. So two years, 15 lakh to 30 lakh. Uh, my dear colleagues, very important for an allotted budget, 45 percentage is for research staff, 35 percentage is for field work, 12 percentage is for equipment, 5 percentage is for contingency, remaining 5 to 6 percentage will be kept at by ICSSR for the purpose of uh, publication. If your final project is very uh, good and attractive and well uh, relevant zone, they will go for publication for that they can spend 5 to 10 to 6 percentage. And 5% money will be given for your institution as a overhead expenses. Okay. And this is the uh, amount for research associate 25,000, research assistant 20,000, and field investor 15,000. One, one slight change in the minor and major projects, uh, research associate will be only 20,000. But this one is a research program scheme. Remaining are all same. And if you are sanctioned, the research project is sanctioned. And you want to provide 100 rupees uh, stamp paper undertaking. And uh, the first installment will be released on 25 first day, second installment release 25, and third, fourth, etc. etc. can be released on based on the your report submission. So these are all other aspects related to after a, a project uh, will be sanctioned, right? And the same guidelines will also for um, research project. research project, minor and major. So again, it is a multidisciplinary and social science disciplines. These are all the different areas. And the main, in the research promotion scheme, they have invited us to submit the different tropical area. But here it is not invited. They have asked us uh, in the different field of social science discipline. That is only one changes. And it's the same procedures, everything guidelines, everything is same. And uh, these are all the uh, PhD degree, and need not to be an associate, even for without associate also we can apply as a project director in a research project scheme. And PhD for a co-project director can be relaxed if she has more credibility research publications. And uh, the same format, everything is same. And again the same. Uh, research staff 45, field work 35, equipment 12, contingency 5, publication for ICSSR 5 to 6 total, and uh, the institution overhead 5 percentage. I told you already for a minor and major research project uh, under research uh, uh, JRF and all, we can provide for a research associate 20,000 per month, but in the research program scheme, it is 25,000. Research assistant 16, field investigator is 15,000 per month. So remaining all are applicable to uh, the other aspects after completion of your research, after acceptance of the research project. Okay. And I come to my presentation. Okay.
Uh, I hope my screen is visible now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. So this is the development of proposal, uh, my dear colleagues. As I have also shown you one of the uh, format for how we are going to prepare the research proposal. And these six aspects are important to keep in your mind. One is a title, then introduction. In the introduction part, you want to write a need, problem, aim, and objectives, and rest on research importance. Research method, work program, your activities, time schedule, resources, res uh, availability, indicators, and other uh, evaluation norms, then finally budget. So title gives the first impression we all know. Uh, so title gives first impression of your proposal and hence it has to be catchy, small and very informative one. And uh, in the introduction part, what is the context of the proposal is important, why this study is needed. And because I told you already in the research gap, you want to clearly identify, uh, please refer in good journal the previous work. Whenever you are going to study the review of literature, please study in a well reported uh, publication from a good journal. And uh, accordingly, you can identify the research gap. So that's what I have told you in the written mark. Others have not attempted the problem you had in mind. Okay. Then, very important, my dear friends, in last quite number of years, maybe two, five years. And most of the research is belongs to primary data collection. Funding agency almost they also prefer on doing a research in primary data. Secondary data research is also available, but with some organization like RBI, National Stock Exchange, and other organization. But in terms of uh, when we talk on policy making suggestion or outcome for society, so definitely. Uh, research in terms of secondary data is how very less chance of getting uh, acceptance but uh, now this year uh, in the research program schemes there are a lot of opportunities are available under uh, secondary data also they asked about foreign direct investment industry international relations and so many research areas but wait and we will see what is the scope for secondary data Review may suggest on ideas for your own work, what not to do, convince others about your knowledge. And review of literature, where you want to clearly write, bring a clarity and focus, and uh, what is a research problem, what is the context you are writing, and what is the knowledge you are writing, etc. Based on that, you can write statement of the problem, broad field of your research, and uh, what is the interest, uh, topic you have chosen you can also raise some research question maybe in objectives form or in research question format these are all some objectives and very important whenever you are going to mention objective what do you want to achieve only achievable objectives want to write that's what i always find out the smart smart objective should be in smart smart means specific measurable a means achievable so smart means yes stands for Specific M stands for measurable, A stands for achievable, R stands for realistic, and T stands for time bounded. So, whenever you are writing an objective, it should be in smart in nature. Are they measurable? Are they realistic? And objectives can be listed with the main and sub objective, or you can list only objectives, main objectives alone. And each objective should contain only one aspect of the study. These are all the some suggested words, and these are all the uh, rational of your research projects. Hypothesis can be mentioned. What would be the uh, outcome of your study that can be also mentioned? Significant of the proposal, research method, research methodology part related to your research indications, uh, your study area, right? Your methodology research design, sampling design, data design, tools for proposal research, questionnaire design, development, conceptual development, methodology, all aspects you want to mention in the research method. This is work program. 
for the activities on your research program, feasibility, activities, and sometimes partners, collaborators, right? That information can also provide. These are all related to monitoring and evaluation purpose. After your project is sanctioned, uh, you want to uh, use on monitoring and evaluation and other parameters. So here, there are a lot of chances are available in terms of budget, year-wise and activity-wise budget details, equipment needed, equipment on hand, and equipment to be purchased, recurring expenses and non-recurring expenses, and avoid over budgeting, avoid over budgeting. So that's what I told you already. If a researcher, if you put it or mention the over budgeting, definitely the evaluator can find out easily, very easily. They can find out and they can be rejected. So, my dear uh, colleagues, these are all the different forms are available on the proposed budgets. You can justify it item by statement, salaries, library, visit, or meeting, or WhatsApp uh, whenever you are conducted to some organization before the survey collection. Some consultative meetings, equipment purchased, computer purchased, stationary administrative overheads. I told you for institutional overhead, maximum of 10 percentage in some cases. ICSR is providing 5 to 7 percentage, but in some funding agency is providing up to 10 percentage as overhead expenses per year, uh, your institution. Uh, my dear uh, colleagues, before I move into different funding agencies, I just want to say we have a lot of uh, work in our education institution. Apart from teaching, we are all creating a learning, uh, creating a learning resources. Last two years, we have spent a lot of uh, time with the preparation of the study material and converted into e-learning resources. And we are all carrying out the research works, projects, guiding people for research. We are writing a research for publication. We are also conducting extensive program activities. We are also conducting so many consultancy services for training purpose for our institution. So there are both implicit and explicit factors behind us uh, as a teacher. We should always keep in your mind first and primary job is uh, teaching and then we slightly moving into most of the organization. Now we are all slightly converted into research organization. Whenever we are offering any PG courses in our institution, ultimately the research will become very effective and it, it is a need for the people to develop more ideas, more innovative concept, and more uh, significance in terms of writing a research proposal. And uh, my dear friends, the research always need your interest, research need your motivation. We need a support from three, uh, four, five different cases. We need a support from administrative, from your early office, uh, your institution, financial support from the agency, your subordinates should be support, your family can also support. And apart from that, your health and age can also provide some, uh, it, it, it should be uh, what I want to say that your health and age can be permit you for writing a research and we can uh, able to uh, submit more proposals so that we can able to do research. So coming to funding of research, uh, well, uh, we have uh, different uh, purpose uh, research, uh, creating a research interest, culture, area, funding agencies, et cetera, are there. And I just to go to the different funding agencies. Uh, before uh, go to different funding agencies, I just want to uh, provide one uh, uh, writing a research uh, program, I mean, research pro proposal for uh, conducting a, a research program like FTP or a STTP or a WhatsApp. I just tell, uh, I just show you one research proposal, uh, maybe like just a second. Maybe I will show you a recent uh, proposal where I have submitted to uh, one of the funding agency, even I can say, provide the information. 
there are some funding agencies for national commission for women so national commission for women is providing a funding it is also applied to online uh, they even for conducting a webinar they are providing a funding so they requested us most of the research proposal for conducting a seminar fdp or they requested from us to submit on the topic title of the seminar objectives of the seminar what would be the objectives what would be the expected outcome of the seminar workshop and conference very important so what is the objectives of the seminar workshop and conference and what would be the expected outcome of the seminar and conferences so national commission for women is uh, regularly uh, i mean every year they are uh, inviting the research proposal for uh, doing uh, research in the under uh, different areas for the development of the women uh, these are all the target groups who is your target groups the contact person and they also requested us to submit details of resource person and uh, the venue details the cost estimation actually that is all online uh, so they have uh, given 50000 they have given 50000 though it is online webinar mode Honoring for resource person, five resource person, five into five, twenty-five thousand. Miscellaneous expenditure is another twenty-five thousand. So this is the research proposal for uh, uh, NCW. I hope you all know about the funding agency called uh, uh, right I uh, NHRC. A lot though it is a uh, directly related to law institution. Most of the colleagues from law colleges. and uh, you hope you have got you will get lot of funding opportunities available under training and research area right you can go training guidelines summer winter internship program are also available i hope you, under this funding agency hopefully you all know about they are providing lot of support for conducting a training related program for the students okay right then i can also show you uh, one more uh, proposal related to where i have got a funding from icsr recently last month i have conducted one conferences conference uh, this is related to national conference on industry 4.0 recent perspective and future so this is my format and i have not given my name as a submitter list because it is whenever we are writing any research proposal for conducting any workshop conference and seminar instead of directly provide your name you can provide mention your department name and college name right that is one important thing this is a general format who would be the director can co convener uh, it is available in the websites itself and this is a budget it is a domestic travel for a resource person how much amount accommodation food expenses honorarium the paper presenters and the participation Uh, in the conferences, organizational expenses like other transport, stationery, other expenses. So, though I have uh, requested ICSSR for an amount of around uh, the proposed date is in the month of January, and I have written the proposal in June 2020, but I have got a sanction of around 40,000 rupees. Though it is now uh, most of the conferences are to be held in the form of online. so they have allotted me only 40000 instead of 1 lakh 40000 i where i have requested them to sanction in the manual mode so these are all the format and the forwarding letter same and come to the proposal uh, just a second whenever you are writing up sorry this is related to cv yes here in the concept note Uh, your conference theme you want to write as a conference concept note, and these are all the research question the conference can answer. This is the objectives of the conference. These are all the themes, sub themes, related themes to be discussed in the conference. This is the possible contribution in terms of conference outcome. Tentative session wise program schedule you want to provide. then expected keynote speakers 
expected names of the paper presenter and participation list. It is not uh, exact. These are all tentative lists you are going to provide though it is available in the uh, format. And along with very important, keep in your mind, proposed invitation. We just, we are sending the application proposal to the funding agency. But during the submission of the proposal itself, you want to attach the proposed invitation for organizing a program. So here, uh, the first page related to the college conference, the theme of the conference, yeah, like a proposed invitation registration amount, important dates, payment, everything. Okay, everything we want to mention in the proposal set, in the invitation. So it is very important, uh, though uh, you will be attractive with the fund providers where uh, the resource, I mean, the organizer is providing lot of information. And uh, if we provide the funding, definitely they will become, uh, they will conduct the program and made it as very successful. So you want to impress the organization, I mean, impress the fund providers in terms of providing all extra information than whatever available only in the format. That is very important, right? So this is a related to- One query, can I ask Sir? Anita here. Me? Can I ask one question yes. related to this? Yeah. No, um, I don't know whether if we are organizer or providing information or no or we can have no problem. Please ask, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So one Please. thing, suppose if we are having funding from other uh, institutions, uh, say for example, some um, textbook uh, providers or some uh, web supports are giving us some uh, sponsorship. In that case, uh, can we ask for uh, these kind of? Uh, what do you call funding? Okay. Would their maximum they will be giving for a conference? Ma'am, uh, could you, ma'am, could you repeat once again, ma'am, the question? I said funding. Yes, ma'am. Please, ma'am. How much is the funding available? How much is the funding available for these kind of conferences? Ma'am, it is up to the. Fund providers, funding agencies. Okay. If, you take, no IC, if you take ICSSR. Uh, for, for, uh, for a conference. Excuse for me. conference. That's what uh, I'm telling, ma'am. Uh, for conducting a conference, uh, if you want to apply to Southern Regional Center uh, in Hyderabad for ICSSR, they will provide the budget up to 1.5 lakh. And if you are writing the research proposal or for conducting a conference at international level, then you want to apply to New Delhi office for ICSR. ICSR allowed, I am telling. Okay. Then they will send some 2 lakh rupees, 3 lakh rupees. And uh, it is all informations are available in the particular funding agency website. Okay, it is not based on our proposal, we are sending the uh, form. Based on the information where we are receiving from the funding agency, we are writing the proposal. So my my small query is, can I have a tie-up with somebody else as well? Suppose if somebody, some other institution is giving some funding, so can we go mm -hmm. with uh, this, uh, say, ICSSR? Will they permit or it's exclusive for ICSSR? It is, it is available, ma'am. You can collaborate with any of the institution along with ICSSR you can conduct the program right see maybe you can also collaborate with some other funding agency some 50,000 rupees you are requested from ICSSR another 50,000 rupees you are requested from UGC it is also possible it is also Agencies possible also and apart from that apart from that you can also collaborate with another institution jointly you can conduct the program Jointly, you can conduct the program. Sponsorships from others are also uh, welcome. Yes, yes, yes like ma'am. That's what I am telling. Uh -huh. Publishers are also welcome. Okay, okay, fine. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Yes, uh, ma'am. Sir, may I have a question, please? 
sir, uh, then, sir, what we will do? Uh, uh, you will be allowed to ask any kind of question at the end of the session, madam. Let the resource person complete the question, madam. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I thought uh, the question of the session has been started. That is why I have asked. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'll wait, sir. I'll wait. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Uh, excuse me, participants. I need uh, some more time, though I have not covered on my second part of my presentation uh, related to different funding agencies and all. Uh, once it is over, then you can ask any number of questions. Sorry, no, no issue from my side. Please. Yes, sir. Uh, I hope uh, you have uh, receiving my screen. These are all the some funding agencies. I hope my screen is visible to you all. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine, sir. Uh, the funds available for research and funding organizations are we have institutional funding organizations, local level bodies, state government level bodies, central government, international bodies. And company based RD and NGOs. So these are also some funding agencies uh, like the UGC is uh, now they are not providing any funding for uh, maybe in future it may become ICSR, DST it is one important funding agency uh, where a lot of money available with the government directly coming at the Ministry of Higher Education and in CSAR Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. Atomic Energy, Biotechnology, non conventional Energy, Development, DRDO, Indian Council of Agriculture Research, Ministry of Environment and Forest. Uh, dear friends, one important information I want to uh, narrate in this uh, forum. So for writing a research proposal, you need not be a social science or need not be a science background. Say some, uh, if you take uh, some funding organizations like DST and CSCR, or in biotechnology and all, they are inviting research proposal in the science discipline. So for that, a social science researcher may also collaborate with a science researcher can write the research proposal. Okay. So today, more funding agencies are sanctioning the research proposal on purely based on multidisciplinary research. That's what I encourage you. I, I insist to tell you, my dear uh, friends, please go for collaborative research. For anybody can write the research proposal to any funding agency, right? But the thing is that the basic qualification and eligibility is made for or not that you want to note out from the funding website. Because sometimes only they requested to submit engineering background uh, research. That uh, eligibility you want to meet out. If it is there, then anybody can submit the research proposal. Coming to the same uh, ICSSR research proposal, uh, they have not limited to uh, science background or engineering backgrounds are not submitted the research proposal. They have invited the research proposal only on the social science field. Even in my own institution, more number of engineering faculty are showing interest to writing a research proposal. Even last two years, we got a lot of funding than the social science department. We have only management studies, only one department. But we, we have a lot of engineering uh, department. There are so many engineering department faculty got a funding from ICSSR, but we can't. That, that is our scenario, right? So the funding agencies available in India to take uh, AACT. AACT is providing funding for only technical institutions like engineering, polytechnic colleges. CSAR, DRDO, DAE, more number of ministries like uh, IUS, biotechnology is another. Department of Ministry, Ministry of Health Science, you can write. DST, I will show you to you later. ICMI, Indian Council of Medical Research, last two and a half years, because of COVID and other reasons, we are facing a lot of problem. And ICMR is providing a lot of funding opportunities for doing a research. IMD, ISRO, Ministry of Water Resources. Banks are also providing money. Industries are some uh, uh, private industries are also providing money. So these are all some other uh, institutions like Moikan. Even still, there is a, some call for notice available under uh, Ministry of Communication and Information Technology. Please note out Moikan. Uh, you can apply the grant for conducting a program and research pro project scheme. And uh, 
uh, that is Ministry of Environment and Forest, FOEM, they are all conducting, uh, I mean, they are inviting research proposal to celebrate the Earth Day celebration uh, in their own industry institution. They are providing money and uh, new renewable energy like uh, water energy, solar energy, uh, wind energy, and so many other aspects of the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, they are providing funding. Okay, CPRI, that is Ministry of Power Central Research Institute, they are providing money. And coming to the AICT, though maybe in law college professors, this scheme is not matched, but uh, maybe the other professors can uh, no doubt and you can uh, uh, apply for different schemes. AICT is regularly every year, and now for December, they are go for research proposal. Mm, come to CSAR. Uh, under CSER, we have different uh, schemes, fellowship, senior research fellowship, associateship. Uh, apart from that, there are more awards. ICMR, Indian Council of Medical Research, they have different schemes. DST. See, uh, I just want to uh, make have a note on uh, DST. Uh, just a second. I'm sharing my screen, entire screen, and I'll go for my presentation. Uh, this is a DST website, DST Department of Science and uh, Technology. So many schemes are available under DST. Every year, they are uh, every throughout the year, there are some call for research proposal. So, check here call for proposal under SHRI program. It's not open. Maybe uh, all the schemes, but you want to register under electronic project management uh, system e proposal scheme uh, with a username and password. Then you can go with a website. Yes, here you can track your project, previous projects. So though I have submitted one proposal on the effect of yoga and meditation on physical and mental health among engineering uh, students. So though my project was not recommended, so this is a part, but most of the proposal would be requested from us to submit in the online. You can able to view, upload the documents, review our comments, everything. You can able to see and the current scheme just a second yeah uh, any schemes are available ongoing uh, proposal data is available that is also uh, can be uh, seen in the website dst every year they are receiving lot of uh, uh, project call. And, uh, see here, we have different schemes. Check here, National Science Technology Management Information. Whatever the schemes are available, active or now they are accepting the call. These are all some collaborative with other countries India, Belgium, India, Australia, India, Japan. These are all related to science and technology. See, yoga and meditation scheme, that's what this is a scheme where we have applied. But now there is no uh, call for notice. Women scientist program, some active schemes like nanoscience, nanotechnology. So here, science communication research and science media and developing scientific temper. Uh, demonstration, population, so many schemes are available under DST. And come to uh, DST scheme, that's what I told you. Okay. DBT, Bio, Biotechnology, Department of Biotechnology. So these are the sanctioning project under bioinformatics research related projects. Uh, Tramano Fellowship, Tata Innovation Fellowship, CERC, it is also available from DBT, sorry, DST. CERC is also Science and Engineering Research Council. It is also directly controlled by Department of Science and Technology. Ministry of Ayus, 
they have uh, different uh, um, research calls. Sometimes they will invite the not notification. Anybody can apply for these schemes and all. Anybody can apply. Government of India, we have so many ministries available education, environment, human resource, rural development, science and technology, urban uh, development, waste standard uh, department board, everything is uh, have opportunities. But if we all want to visit that particular website, want to know whether currently any schemes are available or not. Okay. Sometimes we will not publish information in the newspaper. Because now we have uh, more vibration in social media, we are all getting some information. But uh, we also, it is our duty, we can visit a separate website on each and every ministries and want to know about the different schemes and identify any research call are available. And these are all the some UGC scheme. Right now, we don't have any UGC scheme uh, because uh, in just, just a minute, I will tell you. In UGC, if you go UGC website, UGC, yes, UGC dot, UGC dot in. We have the schemes for teachers, we have the teams for entire institutions. So check here, now the separate session uh, uh, called here, UGC colleges, under UGC schemes related to colleges for institutions. Right, right now we have different uh, schemes. Institutions are available. Minor research projects and all are not available now. Okay. So this is 11th, 12th, 5 year plans. And we individuals, no schemes are available now, right? Here you have, yes, scholarship and fellowships. There are some scholarship and fellowship schemes are currently available. Postdoctoral fellowship on women candidate, postdoctoral fellowship to SCST candidates, and Emirates fellowship. These are all the schemes. So here we have Fulbright Negro visiting chair. That uh, scheme is available. So those who are interested, you can apply. Even a law college is uh, also applicable. You can search it here and you can apply. And see, for universities only, uh, there are some schemes. Right now, we don't have any schemes on universities. For universities and college both, we have a skill-based education and national skill qualification framework. And a women's studies center you can create in your university. So there are two schemes are available right now. And colleges, we can create, we can construct a block uh, building, right? Special schemes for heritage institutions, construct women hostel, hostel in colleges. Teachers, we don't have any schemes. So students, we have more fellowships are available, like uh, Maunana, Assam as fellowship, postdoctoral fellowship, and all. So many research fellowships are available under UGC. But the only thing is that for a teachers and researchers, we don't have currently any schemes. And uh, yeah, that's what I told you. Schemes for women, women hostel, daycare center, infrastructure, women students. So you are even institution is a, our university is capable. You can apply for skill development program. So you can create a skill development center. And uh, yes, these are all some fellowships. These are all some fellowships. These are all the ICSSR, ICAR, Indian Council of Agriculture Research, where they mainly seek on multidisciplinary nature type of proposal. You can easily apply. These are all some international funding agencies, European Economic Commission, uh, UNESCO, UNICEF, many funding agencies are available. European Commission, ICEF, o OECD, UNESCO, and many things. Some foreign governments are also providing funding for uh, institutions for providing funding uh, proposals and funding projects. 
the non governmental organization in india like some organization like all india books air of food rfsa bombay natural history society indian oil corporation jankery jrd tata wipro infosys um, and ongc tata energy research institute so many research institutions related to directly support the research projects like uh, wipro they are every year they are go for research call uh, they are uh, seeking a, a researcher to uh, doing a research they will spend up to 25 lakh on one each project but uh, the fund limited fund is allotted for particular scheme is limited they will sanction only five to six projects on every year so many non governmental organizations are now available they are requested us to submit the proposal and they elaborate if they match with the objectives they can definitely sanction apart from that we have funding agencies in state like wasteland development uh, pollution control board mines and geology department converts and non converts energy uh, even sports and youth affairs maybe uh, sometimes they are also request uh, required some references okay in terms of submitting the research proposal but uh, if there are any chances are available then you can also approach the state government to fund on any type of related research other national funding agencies i hopefully we have discussed lot more funding agencies uh, one thing is that i want to tell you uh, say rajiv gandhi foundation cp ramasamy air foundation is located at chennai uh, they are uh, doing a lot of uh, services in terms of uh, providing uh, support for environment related issues earth related issues ministry of environment and forest related issues they are providing lot of funding uh, you can approach them and they also have um, a separate center for environment fans foundation pile foundation so many organizations are all out there you can ap- approach uh, rural development or, uh, ministry okay your ministry of biotechnology for getting lot of funding this is mof that i have already uh, mentioned to you this is urban affairs and employment this is another one important funding department it's not a funding department or a funding ministry where they are providing support for water development and removal technology natural methods and other aspects ministry of welfare and finally come to criteria for a good grant proposal most funding agencies apply similar criteria to evaluation proposal which fails to meet them will be rejected and the proposal should be very important can be addressed in the some problem and it may be just a routine application of same known techniques uh, maybe you can use a new uh, form of research new innovative ideas uh, maybe you like in, including in uh, grounded theory approach like in the qualitative format of research you can apply you have a lot of ideas want to develop in your mind so that you can inculcate to write a research proposal to get a fund more possible okay to get a fund is very uh, it is very difficult task but you will get a lot of uh, uh, idea in your mind but uh, how the idea can be converted into output that is a thing we are all working out working out now and uh, so trust area want to look it and uh, you want to make a presentation very effectively and clearly don't lose your interest and there are all uh, so many people even i have also faced lot of troubles while i am uh, 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 present my uh, proposal in uh, interface meeting at delhi where they have asked lot of queries related to research methodology objectives whether the objectives can be fulfilled or not everything they have asked but in the meantime you want to clarify the doubts clarification everything you can check with them uh, whatever they i mean the committee is agreed to you you want to accept it if you are telling any unwanted uh, information definitely they will reject it so after project sanction you go for execution planning uh, project fellow appointment purchase utilization certificate very important after completion of project 
you want to submit the utilization certificate, publication of findings, and final report. Before that, uh, before closing, I just tell you. Uh, yes, I will share it to you a later point of time. Maybe these are all some uh, websites and uh, funding agencies, especially available. It is available in the website uh, internet. Maybe I have consolidated and uh, with the address and other website details. I will share it to you, the organizer. Uh, hopefully, they will share it to you at a later point of time. This is a, a different list, funding agencies for research proposal list. That also I will share it to the organizer. Different uh, address, everything I have uh, consolidated and I have given with that information. Yes, this is very important. Websites. Uh, for uh, PG level, uh, these are all the some scholarships are available. PhD level, these are all some scholarships. Postdoctoral level, senior faculty level, some awards, honorarium, awards and recognition for below 45 years, senior awards, funding organization, colleges as a whole. You can go for approach UGC for potential excellence, university for potential excellence, and etc. Websites, okay, the different websites, abbreviations, etc. I have given in this particular in this list. So I will share definitely to the organizer. Uh, hopefully, for all registered participants, will uh, receive this uh, material. So, finally, come to all got and my. Heartiest to uh, success for your all uh, career in future with an all right research proposal. Uh, wish you all the best for writing a research proposal. If you have any clar particular queries, clarity required, you can clarify it now. So, once again, I would like to uh, give my, uh, uh, my grateful thanks to the organizers. Vice Chancellor, Registrar, Control of Examination, and the, all the HODs and research directors for providing an opportunity to address into the uh, knowledgeable uh, platform. Thank you all. So over to uh, Professor Velamurkan, sir. Uh, any uh, two parts mention may give your feedback, sir. The response. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, actually, good evening. I'm Dr. Vijay Lakshmi from uh, Law University, sir. So the only one yes. doubt is that when comparatively applying for this ICSSR or, or any nature of projects, people from science discipline, it, it may be easy for them to go through the projects by way of submitting their projects by science analysis and other things. But people like us from the humanities or from the arts and science, arts and other uh, law department, is it there is a scope for pure doctrinal research products? Ma'am, actually ICSSR is inviting research only on social science discipline. So compare with engineering or science and other discipline, definitely the law, uh, I mean, uh, the law college and law university professors have high freedom because it is coming under social science, it is listed. So you can select the title uh, according to pure law or maybe some social discipline, mix of social discipline, mix of social discipline. You can uh, say example, uh, I am going to study the physical and mental well-being among women, women law college professors. See, okay. uh, where my social science is also include, my law is also include. Right? Okay. This type of mixed type of research topic, maybe uh, you, you have more tribunal system, more law system. Uh, say, I am going to study on the importance of dowry uh, and its awareness among the women in rural India. See, okay. these type of topics have more weightage. So definitely, okay. I, I would say that uh, the social science people also can write proposal. It is not like only the engineering or science faculty members can write research proposal. They have a separate agency. But we social science people can all concentrate more on social science uh, funding agencies and departments uh, funding like uh, Ministry of Higher Education, Ministry of uh, uh, urban development, uh, urban welfare, uh, child and uh, women, 
we can go for national human rights commission national commission for women so many funding opportunities are available now okay so because now the pdf has also been uh, called for by the icssr so the, this right. is the only hurdle for us whether they will consider or accept the pure doctrinal uh, postdoctoral fellowship when we are going to apply so no, no, we, you can apply now. you uh, can apply you can directly yes. apply we, i think we up to 26 the date is, the date is yes. available okay. you can apply uh, thank you so much. It was very much helpful, and your session was really an eye opener. Uh, can you please share the PDF? So thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Vail Morgan, sir. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. Uh, uh, can any one participation give your feedback? Hello. Live. Yes, sir. Hello. Good evening, sir. This is Dr. Ashu Jain from Central Logic College, Jabalpur. And uh, thank you so much for this uh, wonderful. Uh, this presentation sir it is really helpful for us i am also trying to apply for a project i only want to ask one question sir that uh, the synopsis you have say, shared with us and the proposal format of the icc icssr so both are a bit different like uh, when we are submitting you have uh, prepared your synopsis in really very attractive manner but uh, the project, uh, the pattern of the project, uh, this proposal they are asking for, uh, from us, it is very uh, limited. So how can the thing can be put over there? Like how can it be so attractive? Like uh, you have prepared in your synopsis, sir. Please uh, clarify. Uh, Ma'am, actually, uh, when uh, the ISPCR is uh, last year onwards only, they are asked from us, asked from us to submit in the online board. Uh, during the submission of the online, they have requested to submit only on 100 words or 200 words. But it yes. is very difficult. What I am suggested to you, you can prepare the whole proposal on your own language. Mm -hmm. And later on, according to the website, you can convert it to 100 words or 200 words in the abstract form. That would be more catchy and more attractive one. And while they ask to submit on the hard copy, mm -hmm. you can submit the full proposal. It would be very easy for you. So during the online, it is very difficult. Maybe it is yeah. a time costing, time taking process. But after uh, your project is scrutiny, okay. uh, even when they ask for hard copy, you can submit the full proposal. Okay. Full proposal. That okay. Would be very easy for you. Okay, sir. So thank you so much. And one thing, sir, you have said that avoid over budgeting in the Sorry. proposal. But uh, the synopsis I have seen of yours was uh, indicating some around 20 lakh, uh, some thousand rupees. And they yeah. are uh, giving us uh, 15 lakh rupees only. So how should it be like uh, if it, it can be uh, of rupees 15 lakh yeah. or more than that? Ma'am, if they are asking for 15 lakh, not necessary you can find out or you can uh, put all the 15 lakh as a budget maybe sometime for your research project your data collection will be very less in this case definitely the budget estimation of budget would also very less maybe 13 lakh sometimes some of them will go for uh, without any equipment some of them may not purchase a books or journals may not go for licensed software so based on your project work, what are all essential things are required? Accordingly, you can prepare the budget. Simply, you, you put all maximum budget amount, it will be definitely find out by the uh, fund seek, I mean fund providers, and they will identify the over overestimation of the budget. So according to your budget, you can put the money. Okay, so thank you so much, sir. It is really helpful for us. Thanks a lot, sir. Good evening, sir. Once more, Good. Harita, Dr. Harita. Sir. Hello. Yes, ma'am, please. Sir, uh, one doubt, sir. When we write a proposal, any topic, let it be, is it compulsory that we should cover the entire state for a research topic? For example, Tamil Nadu, or can we do a particular district, the Chennai district, can I take, sir? Yes, uh, I mean, in our experience, whether if we cover the entire state only, we will get sir, funding or will we get for district also? Ma'am, when we are going to write on major project okay. or like in ICSR, we have research programs. So in those cases, in those cases, when we want to choose 
maybe at least six to seven states, sorry, six to seven districts okay. in a particular state, or maybe interstate also, two or three states. So when you are going to write minor research project, then you can choose one district, one city, oh. or any other areas. So according to the uh, the need and the amount quoted from your project, you can easily distinct yourself. Okay. Whether it may be in specific area or it may be on broad areas. Okay. In some schemes, they also point out if based on the population, based on the population, I have seen one of the research call from one uh, agency, based on the population exist in the particular state, the amount will be varied. To take in Tamil Nadu, we have the population of seven crore. Oh. So then you can uh, go for the uh, application of worth of 15 lakh. When some uh, some districts, some states, we they have a population of only two crore, then you can want, you can go for some uh, research call, you can apply for only the eligible of up to 10 lakh. There are some limitations. There are some limitations. Uh, according to the need, according to the project uh, eligibility, you can see and you can apply. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good evening to all. Good evening to all, sir. Uh, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, sir. I am Dr. Salvaraj from Gobiar. I feel very proud Sir, of being a spe speaker. Uh, I have one doubt, Mr. Karthi. Yes, Sir, please, Sir. Uh, under the heading of the research gap, what Sir. aspect is to be touched? Under heading Sir, of the research I, I gap. can't understand. And please. What is it? Sir, I ask in Tamil, Sir. Sir, please tell me, Sir. Oh, no, nothing. Sir. Under the heading of the research gap, what are all the points to be highlighted under heading research of the research gap? gap, research gap. Sir, what are all the points to be highlighted? Sir, uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for wonderful okay. question because most of the uh, scrutiny members first they would request or they first they want to look into the research gap. So first you can identify the broad area of the research where you are interested to go for research. Then you can identify the research problem. I mean, broad research problem. Then, based on the broad, broad research problem, you want to collect the review of literature available from both the national and international status. I, I mean, international scenario. And the review, in the review of literature, some research topic, some research topic may be not discussed. Say, example, suppose my area is child and women empowerment, child and women empowerment. And so many research, uh, I mean, already available research is focused on child and women development, child and women development scheme. But some research only focused on maybe uh, the reasons behind why the women are not treated equal on men. So in those aspects, you want to identify the research gap. See, so many research have focused on these areas but very limited number of research are available in particular area. So that is a main reason behind that I am going to choose this topic and this topic may be your research gap. So you are identification thank you, thank you. of the research gap, sir. sir. Thank you, thank you, Rajesh. More, more excellent. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. So only uh, any one faculty member. Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening. So myself, Rajananan. From Vinayamisal Engineering College, sir. Yes, sir. Please, sir. So I have a clarification, sir. While uh, applying for the ICSR project and all, it, it will be asking uh, co-applicants, sir. Yeah. Whether the co-applicant will be from the same institute or we will uh, join with some other institute? Uh, yes, sir. Very good question. Uh, it is based on the scheme. Yes, for my knowledge, I am telling on ICSR research project major and minor research project scheme, both co-applicant and applicant must be on same institution. Maybe multi where different department, but it should be a same uh, institution. When you are going to apply the project under research program scheme under ICSR, the both applicant and co-applicant must be at different institutions because in the eligibility itself they have given it an inter-institutional research is highly acceptable in research program scheme maybe thank in you, other 
different different uh, project proposal they requested us from different institutions more on now most of the funding organization are invited uh, research project proposal from collaborative manner if it is a collaborative manner you want to provide the letter of acceptance letter of acceptance from both the institutions you want to submit it to the organization the letter of acceptance from the both the institutions that is very important <laughs> Thank you, sir. That will be good for the accreditation process also, I think. Exactly, exactly. Okay, sir. I request the panel. Hello, uh, dear participants, I request any one part. Hello. Sir, good uh, evening, sir. Yes, sir. Come here, sir. You can take up the question. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I am Dr. S. Ponmaler from Kirpur Kumaran College for Women, sir. Was oh, session no, was informative and excellent presentation by you sir thank you so much okay. sir can you thank send you, us your ppt and model proposal to our mail yes, ladies yes, i will send to the yes ma'am i will send the details to organizer definitely they will share okay. it to you okay sir thank you so much sir sir uh, i am sir good evening sir i am dr n janardhan okay sir i am i am audible sir uh, yes sir you are audible Hi, ah, yes, sir, from Andhra Layal Engineering College, Vijayawada, sir. Uh, yes, sir. sir uh, uh, okay, we are uh, preparing all, we are, pre we are applying for the mini project, sir. Okay. So, sir, uh, after, okay, after our entire preparation, uh, uh, is there any possibility of uh, personal verification from your side? Is there any guidelines from your side? We will prepare everything. Uh, we need your sessions. Is there any? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We will. We will, sir. We will. Right. Thank you, you can share it to me in, my, in three hours. I will uh, definitely. I will uh, share my information to you. Sir, sir, we will prepare and we. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Please, please, no issue, no issue, sir. Any more question? Mail Morgan, sir. Yes, sir. Just a minute, sir. Uh, yeah, sir, please, sir. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. So, thank you very much, sir, for your elaborating explanation about how to prepare research proposal to how to send the proposal to the competent funding agencies. So, dear participants, I have attended many programs of uh, uh, resource person, Dr. Kartikeyan sir. That's why I have brought him for this webinar also. I hope all of you will have got some inputs as to how to prepare and how to carefully send it to the competent funding agencies, for which I wholeheartedly thank the resource person for immediately accepting my request, even uh, at the time of his busy schedule. So, I thank our Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, for permitting and supporting us to conduct this webinar. Uh, right from the day one, he assumed the office of Honorable Vice Chancellorship. Sir, he has been a good motivator, so supportive for each and every faculty members to achieve their academic related activities. So I wholeheartedly thank our Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir. And let me thank our Register in Charge, Dr. B. Balaji, sir. He is a troubleshooter. He is always available for uh, help by the faculty members. Even if you bring any complex problem, he will make it simple. So uh, I submitted my, my proposal just four days before. He immediately cleared the pro proposal. And uh, this program is being conducted with the help of Honorable Vice Chancellor as well as the Register Sir and their personal support. Uh, for which I thank uh, Register Sir also. Uh, let me thank our Research and Publication Director. Devi, madam, for delivering welcome address as well as his, uh, her active participation in the webinar. And I also thank UG Director, Madam Bonisari, and PG Director, Kumar madam, and IQC Director, Devadi, madam, for their support and active participation in the webinar. And I am also thanking our fellow faculty members, senior faculty members, research scholars, our, our own institution 
for the support and active participation. And I thank the participation from different, different institutions across India for their overwhelming support and a good response for the webinar. And also I thank my faculty members, Rahul, and technical assistant, Darby, and Mardu Vijayan sir for their support right from the, the starting to end of the program. I thank all the participants. Uh, I assure, let us meet in yet another program similar to this webinar. Thank you very much, sir. So participants may receive their certificate in a couple of days. Thank you, Katia, sir. Thank you. We will meet. Thank you, sir. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank, thank you, bro. Sir. Thank you. All participants. So I am sending the feedback link. So participants kindly fill it and submit. You will receive your certificate in a couple of days. Just a moment. Sir, I have sent the feedback, the feedback form. So the participant may fill it and submit the same so as to receive your certificate. The certificate will be sent to your mail ID. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you.